Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor, and today we've got the sound system demo of a 2006 Toyota 4Runner and its six-speaker bass audio system. This is going to be an in-depth review. We're going to take a look at how the radio works, take a look at speaker locations, audio inputs, audio controls, and settings, get out on the road, listen to these sample tracks while we're rolling, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Before we get started, let's hop out to take a quick look at the car. Now, those of you who are members of the Topher YouTube channel as well will recognize this because this is the Topher's new Toyota 4Runner. Obviously not exactly new, it's a 2006 SR5 with the V8. So he's been having a lot of fun with it so far and this week we have as well. You can see it's absolutely filthy. These roads in Michigan are all salt covered and nasty right now but we've been taking it out in the snow. So if you want to see more on the 4Runner, check the links in the description for our full review as well as a highway fuel economy test with these oversized tires and that big front bumper. We typically do this test with lossless uncompressed WAV audio files on a USB stick, but because there's no USB plug for this 2006 system, we are using my phone plugged into an auxiliary input jack. There's still lossless uncompressed WAV audio files, but I will admit there's a possibility of audio adjustments from my phone going into the system. So when we play on a USB stick, there's absolutely no EQ or anything like that. I do have the EQ turned off on my device, but that doesn't mean that there might not still be some sort of audio adjustment going through. We also do the test with sound settings set to their factory defaults. So let's take a look at those now. Just a very basic doubled in radio here. You click on the tune button, you get bass, treble, fader, balance, and automatic sound levelizer, which we're gonna have off. Let's go through and demo the bass and treble now. I do have to say there's something comforting and refreshing about just using a straight up knob to make those adjustments. It's so quick and easy. For audio adjustments in the Forerunner, you have this volume knob. It's a little tough to grab onto. For a rugged type of vehicle, I wish they would have made it a little larger. Maybe if you had gloves on, it'd be easier to grab. There's also no detents. It'd be nice to have some clicks. It's very subtle as well. A small turn gets you a big change in volume. And that's it. No steering wheel mounted controls. So you got one volume adjustment. For track adjustment, you have a tuner knob as well as buttons. For audio inputs, you have your standard AM and FM, no Sirius XM satellite radio here. You have a CD player, 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack, and that is it. So like I said, you don't have satellite radio and you don't have any sort of USB input and no Bluetooth. So not a big deal for a 2006 car, but something to consider. Fortunately, with these older radio systems, it'd be very, very easy to swap in an aftermarket head unit and get Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Bluetooth, USB, all those sorts of things. Speaker locations. This is a six speaker system. So you've got one, two, three, four, and five and six in the rear doors. All right, I think that's about it. Let's start it up and get out on the road.
getting up to highway speeds, get up to 70 and let you hear what the 4Runner sounds like at 70 miles per hour with these all-terrain tires. They're honestly not as bad as I expected them to be. Forerunner still does a pretty good job at wind isolation. All right. audio experience. For some reason the bass is way too high and the treble's a little low, so it sounds much better if you drop bass a few, bring treble up two. We'll do down two bass, up two treble. I'd argue you could probably even just go one treble. Still not great, but it adds a little bit of extra character to the music. And just for some reason, the bass comes through way too strong from these door speakers. It's not a pleasant strong either, it's just dumpy. This next song, we will turn the bass all the way up.
summing up my thoughts on the six speaker system here in the 2006 Toyota 4Runner. Understandably, it doesn't hold much of a candle to new audio systems. This was a base, rugged, all-wheel drive vehicle way back in 2006. So it's not that cars from 2006 can't have good stereo systems, but that certainly wasn't the focus of this vehicle. That being said, it's totally fine for radio type listening, easy listening. The speakers are competent enough. It's better than just having an iPhone playing out of the center cup holder or something like that. And having an aux port is definitely good in 2006. Objectively speaking, compared to everything sold today in 2021, I'd be giving this about a three and a half for rating. It doesn't have any of your new features, it doesn't have a great amount of audio fidelity. There's no big surprise there. Subjectively speaking, considering this is a $4,000 vehicle, it's 15 years old, it's initial mission purpose, I'd be putting it about a six. It's totally fine for what you need it to do, and I've certainly been in cars with worse audio, especially from this age. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see more on this 2006 4Runner, check the links in the description, and we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on.